everyone today we are going to discuss how we can create a sharepoint online site page without the title area let me first show you what i'm talking about so for that i'll open a sharepoint site you can see here finance is a sharepoint site and look at this home page like when you create a like when you open a site you see the home page and uh, this is a site page uh, which which you'll get whenever you'll create a sharepoint site now i will quickly create a uh, page site page so that you will get to know what i'm talking about now let's say i will create a any template you can use but let's use the blank template so the blank one i'll select and then i'll say create page so once i create page now look at this uh, section this is the if i'll just edit this web part now you can see this is the title area now this title area i cannot remove it so for example if i don't want this now look at this page here the title area is not there even if if you'll go to the uh, you know this uh, lookbook in microsoft all the templates they are using right you see that that is not there the title area is not there but whenever we will create something a site page you see this is there even if you you can change it let's say you will select plain so till you needs to provide a title if i'll try to publish it now this is a mandatory field it will not publish now let's say i will say here it help desk now uh, so if i'll just publish this page now you will look at this now this is there so you cannot like this one you can avoid so for example if you'll just edit it and uh, you just uh, remove it and then republish it that it will go the name or the author things will go but this it help desk is still there now i will show you how we can do this or how we can uh, we create a page uh, which will not have this title area now you can play with other uh, section of it for example other layout sorry so image title it will have big color block it will have even more big overlap so it is like this but nowhere you can remove it now let's see how we can do this i'll for timing being i'll just publish this you can see here so what we can do here is you can go to the pages library i will also show you how we can do with the existing pages but let's first discuss about how we can create a new page now on this if you'll see here our home page is the home page uh, you know whenever you are creating the site uh, or when you are visiting the site the page which is uh, coming that is the home page now this is the page so what you can do here is you can just click here and you say copy to and you copy that into the same space like in this same page wherever i want to store in this case i want to store in this page so i just save it i'll say keep both so now you will see here now you can see this is the home one created if i'll click on this now this is home one and you look at this nothing is there like if you'll just edit it and then if you'll just remove all the web parts like from here uh, like whatever the web parts are there then it will be like a blank page uh, just let me just refresh it again so now you can see here right so this is just a blank page like you know how we created but there are certain things that we need to uh, check it here first thing is you see it here the title and the url so you might not like both these things so i'll go to the pages library again and i will select the page so you can see here this home one i'll select it and uh, there is a icon over here you see open the details pane you just open it and here you can change a few properties now look at this here so you can change the home.aspx the url so suppose i will give the url as help desk and the title i want is instead of home uh, i will sorry i will just check it again so instead of the title as home i will say help desk so you can see here right so i put this now you see uh, that has been changed so if i'll just open it now you hear the help desk is there and the title is help desk so now you can go edit and you can add your web parts you can design this so i'll just republish it so that's how it is done now uh, what we can do further is uh, let's me go to the pages library i will quick or let's say this it help desk we have the page right it still have the title area 
so what we can do is we can use pnp powershell command i have another video i have explained how we can connect with pnp powershell to sharepoint only so you can check that uh, so once you have that so what you can do here is i'll just copy the script i have found it i'll just explain after that so i have the visual studio code here so i'll just do it now you can see i will change according to our site so i'll go here in this case our site is the finance site so i will change this to finance so the url basically you need to have the connect hyphen pnp online url of the site hyphen interactive so it will open the um, you know the login box and it you can connect it and uh, then uh, the page url so a set hyphen pnp page is the command where you need to basically set the home layout of the particular page if you are familiar with the page layout this is the page layout that we are uh, we have to set it so type and layout type equal to home we need to give and then this is the title and uh, this is the url so let me just cross verify the url once in this case it is yeah, it hyphen help dex so i think it's the same one it hyphen help hyphen dex so yeah that is the same one so uh, now what i'll do here is i will uh, just execute it once so let me uh, so it will take just some time yeah now you can see here the layout has been set so if i'll open the um, you know the page now so i'll just refresh it now you can see here it is not there so basically the page layout we need to set it through pnp powershell so this is how we can create a page uh, without the title area i hope this will help uh, this is a quick video that i thought i'll make and if you want similar videos then subscribe to our youtube channel uh, so that you will get uh, you know notification on the videos that i'll make on sharepoint power platform spfx all these things thank you and have a nice day